All right, so tonight I'll be rehearsing for my uh, own instrument proficiency check uh, for my European IFR that is coming up on uh, Wednesday. And I'm going, I will be going through the flight preparation for that. Um, basically do everything that I will be doing in the real world on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, see how explain can be a useful training tool for that and also show two new features that I recently added to the GPS in explain and that is um, extended terminal procedure support for standard instrument departures and standard terminal arrivals and we'll be using both And now I'm just waiting for my tea water, or rather the tea to steep. And as soon as I have my cup of tea, we can start the flight. All right, the plan for tonight is to fly from uh, Egelsbach to Karlsruhe Baden-Baden, uh, which is a short, about 50 minutes uh, IFR flight that I use in Germany uh, a lot to get my students um, to make them understand the German airspace and the procedures and how things are done here. And incidentally, I will also be flying this um, on Wednesday to get um, basically the equivalent of an instrument proficiency check for, for the European license. Mm. With the FAA, it's relatively simple to stay instrument current. All you have to do is you have to fly six instrument approaches over the course of uh, six months and uh, log 
tra uh, lock those approaches, lock tracking a VOR radial, lock flying a holding, and if you do all of that, most importantly, six approaches within six months, oh, you're good, and you can, and your IFR essentially stays good forever. Um, here for uh, the uh, European license, I have to do basically the equivalent of an instrument proficiency check uh, every year, regardless of how many actual instrument approaches I've flown uh, within that year. Uh, IFR privileges lapse automatically after a year, unless I do this uh, prolongation of the license. I will be doing that in real life on Wednesday. Mm. And I'm going to be rehearsing a little bit tonight 